Welcome to the Perfection Selection, a Cream of Cards TV. If you like old movies, then please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click the like button to preserve our movie heritage for future generations. The Roaring Twenties was so popular, there are dozens of names for that decade. And it's a time that still enchants and interests people today after more than 90 years. You don't have to look far to uh, find out. Just do a search on YouTube and you will see numerous 1920s related videos with millions of views. Or check out the current wave in critically acclaimed movies and globally popular period dramas. This revival has even spilled out onto the fashion catwalks of the world and celebrity red carpets as this exciting 1920s craze sweeps the planet. Here we have some of the uh, top movie stars and trendsetters from the Roaring Twenties immortalised on these original 1927 cigarette cards. These rare more than 80 year old cards feature many silent movie legends. Too many to mention them all here, but I've put a full list of them in the description. So, um, if you're related to any of them, if one of them is your great 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 grandma or grandfather, please feel free to leave a comment and let us all know. This set features Corinne Griffith, considered by some to be the most beautiful silent movie actress ever. The fashionable star Colleen Moore was a rival to none other than Clara Bow, the It Girl. Uh, Moore played a flapper in one of the first ever flapper related movies. And no prizes for guessing who this is, the iconic Charlie Chaplin. And over here is the original heartthrob, Rudolph Valentino. Over the page, we see one of the one of the th three most successful comedians of the 1920s, Harold Lloyd. And over the uh, the page again, we see Tom Mix, who played a hugely important role in popularising a whole genre, the western. Turning the page again, we uh, complete the mega comedic trio with the deadpan genius Buster Keaton and we couldn't possibly forget to mention Mary Pickford considered to be the first truly international movie star ever okay let's continue to look through these amazing cards and I'll give you some more background information so compare the multi names 1920s with the previous seemingly nameless decade what do you call it do you call it the 1910s that's the only name that i can think of quite often the first half of the 1910s seems to be referred to as the edwardian era and the latter half after the first world war seems to be treated as though it's part of the 1920s it seems as though the 1920s or jazz, jazz age or whatever you want to call it was an antidote to the previous decade of doom. People wanted to uh, forget and distance themselves from the death and destruction of the First World War and the sinking of the unsinkable ship, the Titanic. It also gave them a great excuse to reject the old world order and all the bad things associated with it. Women symbolically showed this by casting off their um comfortable Victorian corsets and they literally let their hair down by cutting it off. This desire for change inspired revolutions in the cinema, arts and fashion. Fashion designers creatively drew inspiration from lots of different sources and cultures across the planet. Does the headband and uh, feather remind you of anyone? Even the idea for glitzy sequins came from the 1920s archaeological discoveries in ancient Egypt, such as Tutankhamun's tomb. 
Uh, Asia has always been extremely influential and it was especially so during the 1920s. And as we know from life itself, creativity seems to thrive on diversity as it recombines and mashes up old ideas in new and novel ways, very much like the way the internet community uh, operates today. Many of the greatest inventions of the modern world had been invented before World War I, such as the car, the aeroplane and the motion picture. But as we know from the internet itself, it sometimes takes quite a while for the uh, benefits of uh, breakthroughs to actually filter down and be used by the real people. The cinema was little more than a novelty fairground attraction for years after it was first invented in the uh, late 19th century. However, following World War I, the motion picture provided a welcome retreat from the suffering and broken dreams of the previous decade, as millions of 1920s people eagerly poured into the movie theatres throughout the world. The early movie stars became powerful role models, uh, fashion icons and trendsetters. The movie stars off-screen uh, real life Rags to Riches uh, stories inspired millions of people across the planet and made the average person realise that they too perhaps could dream of a better life in the Californian sun. Especially at a time when many people still slaved away for the, lo for the local lord as, as servants shown in uh, the popular period drama um, dramas such as Downton Abbey. Advertisers soon realised that they could exploit the public's growing aspirations and desires by advertising and selling them non-essential luxury products on a massive scale never seen before, giving birth to the age of consumerism and our modern world today. Thanks for taking the time to check out this timeless set of cards. Please feel free to check out the largest collection of videos of the earliest movie trade cards in the world on my channel. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to come along to my card museum at creamofcards.com.